Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a small tutorial on modeling a shopping store furniture in 3ds Max. So it's a small tutorial. So very first of all, I'll go into rendering view image file and I'll take some references over here. I have some references. So I'll go over here and I have some references. So let's model this kind of furniture so how what we'll be doing over here is like so let's take a plane over here after taking a plane it's very simple over here so let's take a box so what I'll be doing over here is like I'll be taking a box over here so let's convert to editable poly let's go into the edges let's go to the top view and let's give two connects over here so now what I'll be doing over here is like I'll go over here and I'll slightly increase its size. I'll select its polygons over here and I'll slightly extrude this up. So you can just extrude this a bit up over here. So select the vertices. So slightly just push it inside over here now now what I can do over here is like will be definitely creating such kind of wooden stuff over here so first I'll go over here, I'll select its polygons and I'll slightly give a bit of inset over here. I'll select its polygons and I'll slightly shuffle this a bit inside. So I'll go into this side view over here and I'll take a box over here. So I'll shift this down. I'll go over here. I'll just scale this a bit. I'll duplicate it. So, can give two copies over here. After that, Now I'll go over here, if I want to increase a bit of this size, I can slightly increase this, slightly I'll shuffle this over here, I can shuffle this more if required, I'll go over here and I'll take a cylinder right from the top view over here and let's put a cylinder over here just shuffle this up so So convert to editable poly and select the vertices, slightly push this up, select the polygons and extrude this and click OK. 
So if you want, you can uh, still reduce its size over here. And let's just uh, duplicate this over here. So I can just duplicate this two elements over here also. I'll slightly shuffle this over here. Let's go on to the top view over here. And let's again take a box and I'll push this up slightly. So we'll just uh, thicken this. Don't want to make it more thicker. A bit like this. So I'll if you want, I can just slightly uh, shuffle it more inside over here. So let's go over here into this view over here and I'll take a line over here. So let's just take a line over here in this way. So let's go over here into this rendering enabling viewport and I'll make it I'll increase its width So if you want, I can slightly reduce its width and height over here. That can be definitely be adjusted slightly. So let's just duplicate that. So again go over here and let's again take a line over here. So again, I'll take a line till here. So what I'll do over here is like, I'll slightly shuffle this till here. I'll slightly scale this, increase its size in this way. And convert to editable poly. So select the edges over here and let's give one connect over here. So we are not going to make any kind of garments over here, we are just going to make model the furniture section over here and slightly extrude this over here. So select the vertices over here and slightly just push it in this way so select this shuffle this a bit inside select this polygons give a bit of inset and slightly extrude this inside so select this whole thing and let's just give a color to it so as you can see how we have uh, modeled this table over here for the shopping mall or shopping store. So after that if you want to generate few details over here that can be generated. So let's convert to editable poly and I'll just select this. So First let's select this and let's just attach it So 
so just attach that after that select this all polygons and let's give a bit of inset and let's give extrude over here So we can just select this part over here in this way. Let's go over here and we can convert this to editable poly. Select the vertices and let's select the edges over here for all. and let's give a bit of gem for a bit and click ok Fine. so let's an take another reference rendering view image file so I have uh, one more reference over here I can take this reference so this is this can be made easily so for that we can go over here take a box so let's just take a box over here so after taking a box let's just increase its height so convert to editable poly select this polygons and let's give a bit of inset and let's give extrude over here and click ok so once you're done with this I can slightly push this up can just select this edges give to connect scale it select this R and scale this in this way so I'll just isolate this part Again, I will select its edges and I'll give two connects. Click OK. And click OK. So once you're done, I can just uh, duplicate this over here and now what I'll do over here is like <coughs> I'll slightly shuffle this over here and I'll slightly increase its height select this edges and let's give two connects over here in this way click OK 
select the polygons and let's just bridge that so that's how it's done over here so now again we'll go over here and let's take go into spline let's take a rectangle we'll make a rectangle over here and into that enable in viewport and increase this length much better and we can just slightly duplicate this up convert to editable spline go into the vertices slightly shuffle this down so again I'll go over here into this view over here and I'll take a line over here I'll just take a line over here increase decrease its length and width go into the vertices convert to editable poly so select this edges and insert it and let's just bridge it so that can be done over here in this way so right click and just and isolate this elements oops okay so just select this whole thing and we'll slightly just push this over here so you can uh, create the accessories I can just just save this I'll save this So this can also be modeled, uh, it's very simple over here, you can uh, easily model this. So first you can just go to the top view over here and what I'll do over here is like I'll make a rectangle over here and I'll increase its width over here after it is done oops you can slightly shuffle this so I made it very big so over here let's reduce its length and let's reduce its width over here so you can just go over here and let's take a line tool over here so let's take a line tool so I'll off this let's take a line tool over here and you can make such shape over here in this way much better and enable in viewport reduce its length and definitely will be reducing its width also so select this and increase its length and width over here so after that what I can do over here is like so either you can do it with a line also whatever 
uh, style you want you can do that so let's just select this go over here let's just again take a line over here so make it as a radial increase its thickness convert to poly select the edges so select this and let's give connect over here so select this edges ring it and let's give a bit of bevel and slightly push it in this way so let's go over here and let's give local okay. uh, we'll keep it as view let's just duplicate that so let's just duplicate it in this way. so once you're done you can just slightly shuffle this in this way much better you can make this as small because this looks too big over here so please make this small over here in this way so press shift and drag it and duplicate that so just select this and let's mirror it copy it in this axis and whatever axis you want you can just duplicate that over here so just shift and drag it so let's go to the top view okay. and let's just mirror it in y axis okay so guys you can uh, model this stuff in this way can be done you can uh, create the wheels if required so guys uh, that's what we have done over here so if you have any doubts please put it in the comment section over here as you can see how we have generated this shopping store furniture over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so thanks for watching this tutorial.